There's no door knob. <laughs> now we can't get in. Oh, boy. Like my stomach gets very grumpy when I don't feed it. We be all closed. Someone stole me crystal doorknobs, just like that clam who stole me nose. Oh, not that place. That guy's a freak. No, like he's totally cool. Just don't mention his nose. Hey there, Cappy. What happened to the old sniffer? Oh. What happened? I'll tell ye, boyo. That was a clam that took it. Fierce and mighty was he, and reduced me to wearing facial underwear he did. But I'll find him, and I won't stop shucking till I do. Understand? Yes, sir, Captain Admiral, sir. It's Skipper! Skipper Shelton! Clam hunter and waffle critter. So what'll it be, skinny shanks? I'll take an extra large, please. <laughs> Didn't we agree that you would cut out the junk food? I should, like, totally eat something healthier. But, 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 huh? What about you, Wolfie? Is it a cone stuffed with the fruits of the sea? Or are ye afraid? Aye, aye, Skipper. No fear. Two cones here. Mmm, <laughs> those look good. A big salty clam would sure go great with this heat. You want one, Daff? No! Fred, you know what happens when I get near seafood. You remember my sister's wedding. <laughs> I was so swollen, I couldn't even fit in the bridal airlock. Hey, don't worry, Daff. Those clams aren't close enough to cause you any trouble. Hey, Skipper, didn't your cabin used to be over there where the volleyball courts are? Aye! Every time the town has an event on the beach, they move me business. Blast ye, city council! Ah! Oh, I need a clam and break. Watch me, Captain. Hmm. Come on, let's get our seats for the first match. Oh, come on, Velma, can I even look? Well, for the king of clam cones, I see Skipper Shelton isn't around again. Or are you, Skipper? Ah! Back from the laundromat, I am. And once more does me nose hammock smell fresh as the morning tide. Wait, if you're not the man crab, then who? Everyone, meet Bud Shelton. Who? The Trickle's Trickwood mascot. And the inventor, not that dirtball Trickle. Like, how did you know, Velma? I knew it wasn't a real crab because Daphne never got allergic when she was around it. Plus, when I saw the mole pattern on the cheek of the man next to Trickle in the newspaper, I remembered the same pattern on the mascot. He took the credit for my creation. It was supposed to be called Bud's Bloosh. I was still working on the name. I spent countless hours making the man crab costume, and even more time building my system of trapdoors and stairs under the beach. And in case anyone came snooping in between kidnappings, I hid my costume in a locker big enough to hold it, putting a label with Skipper's name on it over the real label. So if anyone found it, they'd blame him. All that work just to get back at Mr. Trickle? Wouldn't it have been easier and more legal to sue him? Are you kidding? Lawyers take forever. I would have succeeded, too, if it weren't for you meddling brats probing into my crustacean-themed revenge scheme. Well, almost doesn't shuck the clam. Does it, Wolfie? <laughs> <laughs> I have no idea what you're talking about. Hear ye, hear ye! Get your cotton candy clams! Just like King Richard used to eat. Uh, who am I kidding? I thought that Mr. E's usually the only one we get tips from. This could be some kind of trap. You have no idea who the tipster is, Velma? Uh, no. None. Hopefully Skipper Shelton can clue us in on all that other stuff. A missing sardine boat, eh? Well, the only one that fishes these waters is run by me brother, Skipper Shelton. There are two Skipper Sheltons? Besides myself, there are five Skipper Sheltons, all siblings of mine. A sardiner, a shrimper, a manta rayer, a kelper, and a sea dragoner. But we don't talk about him, right, Wolfie? <laughs> <laughs> 
I have no idea what he's talking about. As far as haunted oil platforms and fish freaks go, <laughs> that's a bunch of crazy sea tales. But... The next thing you'll be telling me is that mermaids really exist. <laughs> <laughs> no, we wouldn't go that far. Haunted oil platforms and fish freaks. What will those crazy kids come up with next? The Seven Caesars make a nut racket. It's the Marine Trench, located right off Crystal Cove. These robots must have an underwater origin in that trench. Where you came from, you scurvy tinfish! Your rusty scallywags are worse than sea rats! Sorry about it, kids. Free brine and cuttlefish on the house. That she said, idiot sheriff, up me property the other day. He was rooting through the garbage cans. Said he was looking for clues, but when I aimed Nelly here at him, he skittered away like a greyfish right back to the mainland. His arms full of rotten day-old clams that had been sitting in the sun too long. Thanks, Skipper. That's helpful. <laughs> Help! Remember, we're looking for something strange and out of the ordinary. Ahoy there! How can I help you scurvy-legged landlubbers? Skipper Shelton, that helmet you've got on, where did you get it? Ah, oh, it'd be a weird thing, don't you know? I traded it with a grotesque-looking young scallywag name of Handsome Jimmy. Handsome Jimmy? Is there something written on the inside? S. Yave, perhaps? Well, bless me, Sandabs, there is. S must stand for Susan, and you must be Susan Lovey. And this helmet must be yours, young fella. A strange name for a boy, though. I'm so obviously a girl. Who's Susan Lovey? The Crystal Covite Uryans are ready. The uprising should be happening any minute now. Bring it. Oh. Oh. 